Golf Channel. And the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to Golf Channel's coverage of the 2020 Hack Invitational. I'm four-time major champion Sam Haight, joined by my colleague, longtime PGA Tour member, but never a winner, well, Ryan Fabnis. I got many top fives, but Sorry. never a victory. Many top fives, and I was always part of the conversation in day four. We are just so thrilled to be bringing you live coverage from the Players' Course at Willow Hill. Tough conditions out there today, Sam. Some pins are really in some precarious positions, mm -hmm. along with some blustery winds and some chunky bunkers. Some chunkers indeed, Ryan. Let's go down to the first tee where we'll watch our ceremonial first tee shot from Daniel Spencer. Oh yeah! Bala buoy! Unfortunate swing there from first-time amputee Daniel Spencer. Yeah, that looked uh, pretty rough there, Ryan. Now let's uh, let's dig into uh, some speculation on who's going to win this year's mm -hmm. Hack Invitational. Yes. You know, we've got a star-studded field this year with uh, smooth swinging, long hitting Ben Bokey, the uh, Magic Four Iron himself, Jack Ferber, and the other two in the field. Sam, my money is not on the other two. They are bad at golf. They are pretty terrible. Let's go down to the first tee, where we will begin this year's Hack Invitational. Ben Bokey will be leading us off. He's oh. notorious for this <laughs> unfair ways. It appears as though he's done it again. Oh, yeah, it's be definitely good. Uh, advantageous. You want to hit, uh, hit this first fairway, give yourself some confidence for the round. And it looks like Ferber and Zhang have done uh, just that. So let's see if uh, Schuler can join him. Three solid strikes from the other competitors. Uh, real surprising to the to the big attendance that we have today here at the course. Yeah, the fans certainly were not uh, not expecting three fairways on that first hole. So pleasant surprise. Uh, now let's see how the the competitors have scouted out this first screen as Zhang nestles one up right onto the pin. Oh, as Ferber crushes one past the hole, he is displeased with that. Can he make up for it on the second? Let's see if he likes this uphill putt better. Ooh, no. he does not. Real shame that Ferber uh, had to four putt that one after that rope of a four iron. Yeah, that, that pushes him into an early last place as uh, the co leaders are at one over. Baba Boki! Four left? That's on the first hole. Boki familiarizing himself with the first fairway after he uh, couldn't find it the first time. Ferber continues to hit that four iron really well. And this one's Eakin right, Ryan. Yeah. He'll be lucky to find that. Yeah. Well, let's hope Zane learns from that uh, mistake earlier. Yes. Stay there. Oh, and he does <laughs> not. He did not learn from that. Ferber looks like he missed a little right. Still got a good look at a green in regulation. Looks like he really got a hold of that one, Sam. I would have to agree. Bokey playing from the first fairway. No, I mean like from knee height standing up. Uh, there we go. Thank you to his caddy for uh, sorting out that drop for him. Yeah, that was really well done. Playing with a nice little recovery. Look at the torque that Mark Schuler he just, throws into us. He generates so much ball speed. Yeah. It's incredible. And a risky fairway putt from Schuler here. Yeah, it looks like he just wanted to take out the uh, the risk of a bad oh, chip shot. Would you look at that? Zhang is following suit like, uh, like uh, Mark has earlier. A lot of putts from just off the green on this hole. A good read actually. That's well done from Ferber. Nestles it up close. Bokey reading a big left to right break here. Let's see if he's accurate. Boy, yes. Oh, that's money. No, oh, just pushes it right. That almost crept back in, but uh, no dice. Schuler with a confident six. And Ferber taps in for par, so after two. Bokey with the lead, 
Ferber Chasen, Schuler and Zhang down by one. You know, Sam, this has been an iconic hole in past Hack Invitationals, as you recall. God, Ryan, you know what? This, uh, you're right. This whole, uh, back in 1974, um, you know, Mark Schuler's father, Brian, Brian Schuler. Brian, yes. Brian uh, was playing in the Hack. And uh, he actually uh, made an ace on this hole wow. to take control yep. of solo first. And uh, he held on to that lead to win the hack in 74 and um, carried that momentum to win it again in 76, 79, 83, and 88. So, Schulers have great success at this yeah. tournament. Yeah, the, uh, the most decorated family in the hack, invitational of all time. That is for sure. Unfortunately, none of our competitors replicated Brian's success on this hole as uh, they'll be chipping on for two. Mm. Still another two uh, par threes, though. So could uh, could recapture some of the the magic of seventy four. Mm. What a story that would be! Well, Zeng plays the contour of the green there really well. Schuler, tough chip. That was the lie, Sam. It was the lie. It was the lie. It was sitting down. Tough to get the club underneath. Oh. High, sc- high scores all around on this hole, seeming to be so far, Sam. Yeah, this one's playing really tough. It's uh, dead into the wind. And, oh, uh, wow. Schuler pours it in. You know, he makes, a, he makes a seven on a par three just look so easy. Most people he would, uh, he hates it. would shake their heads at a seven, but... Mark does it confidently, and he's looking to bounce back here on four, if I know him as I do. And uh, as we move on to the fourth hole, a uh, really interesting layout. Um, invites players to take an aggressive line, uh, trying to carry that fairway bunker on the left side. I don't know if he finds another fairway. Um, not quite the one he's playing, though. No. Schuler taking an aggressive yeah. line, but he might have uh, hung that up a little bit. He's a little short of that, uh, that bunker. This hole does reward aggressive play here, Sam. It certainly uh, does, especially with the wind blowing uh, down towards the green. And an impressive shot from Boki there to right the ship on that hole. That's for sure. Boki uh, and Ferber, not expected to be in the field this week. No, they were not, Sam. There were a couple uh, notable absences from today's tournament. That's right. Uh, we had um, Kevin Wang, uh, sudden withdrawal. Um, Sus- suspicions are swirling around a coronavirus diagnosis from Mr. Wang. Uh, potentially. That, uh, that could explain his absence. Uh, another notable miss, Matt Forchetti, uh, allegedly involved in a uh, biking accident. So uh, wishing, wishing him well, uh, if that's true. And, uh, Nathaniel Fools as well is a big absence. That, that I was... I was most confident he would be in the field this week. But um Fairway Bunker Freeze as his fans endearingly call him. Yeah. They that is a big miss uh today uh in the field. But uh Ferber and Boki, absolutely welcome. Mm-hmm. Anytime. Great great additions last minute to the tournament. And it don't, doesn't seem to be uh impacting their play at all. They're uh they're one two in the leaderboard right now as it is. Yeah, they've really uh risen to the occasion being called in so late, uh, both playing adequately. Go, go, do it. Bogey with a nice double bogey. And a jovial flop of the ball in his own hand. Yeah, you gotta think he, uh, he's feeling good about how he's playing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the scores might not be there right now, but, uh, you know, his ball striking... Um, he's getting good distance. He's getting good distance. Yeah, he's really he's connecting with the sweet spot. Um, mm-hmm. The face has just been left uh, wide open on a couple of these. Let's see if Zane can save double here. That would be big for him. Uh, create a little distance between him and Schuler at the bottom. You got to remember oh, the. Uh, he's got it. Wow. Impressive read from the caddy there at that's, Goldberg. That's for sure. Got to remember that the last place competitor will be jumping in. Uh, a body of water, so something to stay tuned for. Sam, and as the uh, competitors move here onto the par 3 fifth, uh, let's talk about what the committee is discussing. 
Yeah, Ryan, um, the committee this year uh, taking a new approach to punishing the loser in last place, uh, making them jump into a, uh, a local body of water. Yeah, some, some big names being thrown about. Um, the Annisberger Pond, oh, namely. One of my favorites. Uh, and gambling rings around the town, the Annisberger Pond is the front runner for the punishing body of water. Good pond. Yeah, that has been the, uh, the front runner. Um, some other names being floated. Uh, the Skokie Lagoons, mm -hmm. the uh, the pond by Atia, the West Fork of the North Branch of the Chicago River, the East Fork of the North Branch of the Chicago River, uh, Glencoe Beach also, one that's kind of bringing up the rear, but uh, you know if the loser does particularly poorly, I think uh, uh, Lake Michigan jump might be in store. Yeah, I couldn't agree more with you there, Ryan. As uh, competitors. Struggling with this green. Tough pin location on the slope. I believe they all hit the green on this one, which is uh, wow. really unexpected from the Hack Invitational. Uh, but they are making <laughs> quick work of fixing that situation by four putting. Zang hangs that one out to the right. Let's see if he can clean up for a nice double. There it is. And after five, Ferber and Boki. Tied for the lead, Zang and Schuler close behind. And as the players move on to six, uh, one of the big stories of this tournament, the improvement of Matthew Zang, um, who last year frequently would not finish his rounds, but uh, critics believe that uh, having to pay for them himself has motivated him to finish or nearly finish uh, nine holes. Yeah, and uh, him and Caddy, Evan Goldberg, have been long at work at the uh, the range oh my. and local putting greens to really cement that form of his. Yeah, they've uh, they've really been working hard on the swing. You can see it in Zhang's take back. Uh, very on plane, great shoulder turn. and uh, But the bulk of their work has been uh, Zhang's short game. Yeah. A um, lot of work on those three, four footers, those tap-in putts. Yeah, you can see here the uh, the chipping. It's uh, It's definitely an improvement. For sure, for sure. And you know, had they uh, not put in the work, he would be the heavy favorite to lose. That is for sure. Whereas but now he is only the moderate favorite to lose. Yeah, he's uh, keeping Schuler at bay. And uh, as you mentioned, Ryan, looks like we're going to see uh -huh. uh, that short putting practice pay off there for Zhang as he's going to oh. no doubt head up and tap that one in. It should be short work for him. Ooh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Looks like they might need a little bit more work on those short butts. You know, not always a, a fantastic relationship between the player and the caddy, but at the end of the day, they get the job done. He played it. I love it. And we move on over to the par 5 seventh. Rated actually the easiest toll on the scorecard here at Willow Hill. Yeah, this one is uh, definitely gettable for players that go into attack mode. Uh, easy pin location, so uh, could see a couple fives on this hole, so we're going to activate <laughs> parking. Oh my yeah. god. There's the rest of the field playing on hole seven. And there's Jack Ferber, two fairways over. Ferber's got himself in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, not in trouble oh, in the wardrobe go. department, though. That's Very nicely it. dressed. He looks good. Schuler on the complete opposite side Punch. of the course from Jack. That shot. Um, Saying struggling to find his ball. Schuler pulling this one left. That might be in the same toss stuff. You know, we probably won't get a five from three of these guys, but uh, let's check in with Bokey sometime soon. Cameras. Yeah, Ferber might sneak away with a bogey here after... A couple disastrous shanks to start off the hole. Mm -hmm. oh, Schuler rolls it delicately out of the green. Well done. God, oh. that's going to be a routine eight. Bokey with a birdie putt. Oh. oh. But Parkham is still live. Yep. Bokey could be our five man. Let's go. Really visually appearing. Appealing. Oh, and he just sinks it. That was beautiful. Good five from Boki. And as we move into the par three eighth, Boki and Ferber all square. Zang and Schuler far behind. 
with two holes to go. There are two contests breaking out here. There is the race for first place between Ben Boki and Jack Ferber. They're all square. Uh, and Zhang and Mark are one stroke apart at the back. Yeah, Zhang and Mark uh, duking it out, trying to avoid uh, jumping in the body of water. And uh, oh, oh, yep, there um, it is. Little uh, little note from our producer here. Breaking news: um, it will be the Annitzberger Pond that the players will be jumping into. So Schuler and Zhang definitely looking to avoid that hmm. as the players approach the green. Good chip from Ferber. Another ambitious fairway putt from Zhang, but he is really locked in on those today. Yeah, he's feeling confident in that uh, strategy. I'm going to follow you guys on the last like that. Bokey with a nice chip. Ness is it close. Now, as this hole wraps up, Sam, I really uh, would like to address um, some big go. news over here at Fate Films. Yes, please, Ryan. Uh, we have acquired our first sponsor, actual sponsor, FNX Fit. Um, uh, this is not a joke. They, it is actually a real company that is sponsoring a Fate Films video. Um, so just as soon as the players wrap up here, we're going to send it out to a word from our sponsor and um, be able to see uh, Fate Films' first official partner on the channel. In the meantime, Ferber trying to lock down par on the 8th. Oh, and he just ekes it left. Could come back to bite him mm. as we move into the ninth. That don't worry about that, folks. That is just a simple lip out. And, that's uh, uh, that's a count. COVID count it. COVID count it yes. right there. And Bokey oh, drains man. a long par. He's dialed in. Yeah, he, he's he's ready to kill. And as Schuler finishes up, we're going to send it out to a word from our sponsor. Oh, oh, he needs to tap that one in first. All right, now a word from our sponsor. So let's send it out to Action. FNX Fit. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. Are you tired of being a waste of resources? Interested in being a serial polygamist? Do you want to finally get that PhD? Well, then get ready for FNX Fit! <laughs> FNX Fit is Fate Film's latest sponsor. Their products will take your body by storm. Your soul will never be the same with FNX Fit! Look at this guy before and after a dose of FNX Fit. Oh, and also, it cures COVID-19. <gasps> Run higher, jump faster, rise together with FNX Fit! FNX Fit! Hate your boxing instructor, Mr. Jenkins? Well, put him in a coma and put him in a wheelchair <laughs> with FNX Fit! <laughs> Listen, do you want to jump to the f***ing moon? Well, now you can! Anything is possible with FNX Fit! You won't need sunscreen, the sun will need you screen! With FNX Fit! You'll get a massive 15% off with promo code PHNX15. Rock our merch and become the athlete that you were meant to be. Fulfill your destiny! Your kids will never look at you the same. Go to the link right here, also in the description, and enter our promo code PHNX15 for 15% off. Get big today with FNX Fit! And welcome back to the 2020 Hack Invitational as we move into the ninth hole. The daylight really seems to be going away here, Sam. Tough to track balls, uh, especially if you're a longer hitter. Oh, um, shouldn't be an issue for Schuler there. Oh no, we, we overthought this one. Looks oh. like Zhang's found a little trouble here. Uh, just short of the hazard. Well placed. And he has shot it straight right. Uh, he's gonna have a tough look up on that slope. Schuler, however, playing from first fairway, doesn't quite get that one up. Oh, and a swing and a miss for Zhang. God, Ryan, are these are these practice swings? You almost have to think that okay, counts as a penalty. Yeah, uh, or five of them for that matter. I guess no no word from the rules official, so I guess it'll slide. Uh, I'm unsure about that one. 
Rock lines up, and uh, he does the same exact oh. thing here, Sam. You know, no really tough to tell no if movement. that was practice or not. Yeah. That's uh, bad. This one's moving right. You know, Ryan, you said it best during the, the downtime, uh, during the FNX Fit ad, um, oh, that uh, these, these two in, in last, Zhang and uh, Schuler, really, uh, they seem like they want to lose. Yeah, uh, I would be uh, looking into a betting scandal, much like the... Uh, the White Sox, back in the early 1900s. Yeah, of of similar magnitude, I have no doubt. Oh yeah. And uh, oh, let's go, um, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, little word from our producer here. We would like to amend that um, FNX Fit is uh, actually pronounced Phoenix Fit. Our dearest apologies uh, oh. to Phoenix Fit. Uh, oh slipper. yes. Oh boy, this shot from Schuler. Boy, do you think they like it, Ryan? Oh, they do. Wow. Word is in that Schuler has hit the green and is putting for six here. Um, and Zhang is chipping for six. Yeah, he'll have to get up and down here. Well, that's probably not going to be the shot to do it, though. Oh, no, that boy. is probably out of bounds. Oh, boy. <laughs> Caddy displeased. Okay, a little, little chunky on the chip there. Marginal improvement on the second try. He'll have a uh, long hard putt. Of encouragement for your player? And Zhang <laughs> carrying his own bag for this hole. And, uh, they're gonna they're gonna take a drop here, Zhang and Goldberg. So here's the eighth Get from him. Zhang. Oh, Let's it. hope it gets up that slope. I think you gotta put it. Oh, God, that's a tough roll for him. <laughs> you gotta put it. I think you gotta be a tough ninth. Really gonna have to hope for a Schuler slip up here at the end. Uh, where it is, Ferber's got to get up and down here to. Or to play off with Bogey, but that that's going to leave a challenging par. Meanwhile, Zhang putting from off the green he needs to nestle this close to stay in it. Stay up, he's staying up. He's, he's got a lengthy putt for nine here. Here's Ferber to force a playoff. Um, Bogey just needs to not fall apart here. Ferber with the Bogey. This is right. He'll tap in for seven. You know, and, uh, Sam, not ideal, but at the end of the day, he'll probably take it after that long hiatus from golf. You know, he's got a lot to be proud of uh, mm -hmm. from this round. Especially that outfit. Yes, sir! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there's your champion for the 2020 Hack Invitational, Ben Bokey. But the excitement is not over yet. Holy crap. Schuler. Needs to not five putt. Should be doable. But over the years, we've seen Stranger in the Hack Invitational. He's got it reeled in. It looks like he's about to ice Zhang. A classy three putt here for third place. God, that's well done. And uh, that that putt alone is going to sink, uh, <laughs> quite literally sink Zhang and Goldberg in the Annisberger <laughs> Pond. <laughs> uh, and, uh, Zhang will play this out as a classy... Oh. Oh, Thank you. Ah. Oh. <laughs> there it goes. It goes into the prairie. Not the greatest sportsmanship there, but folks, there you have it. There's your final for the 2020 Hack Invitational. Bokey wins at 10 over, uh, shooting a 45, followed by Ferber close behind, and way down there, Schuler in third, and Zhang 25 over. Let's send it on Let's... over to Annisberger Pond. <laughs> yeah. It's not deep. We'll just show up later. So walk it. Go down that. Oh, oh my God. Oh. 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 Dunk your hair. Hey. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you to Phoenix Fit for sponsoring this production. For uh, Ryan Fadness and the rest of the crew, I'm four-time major champion Sam Haight signing off from the 2020 Hack Invitational. We'll see you next year. You probably won't. You definitely will not. Golf Channel.